Welcome to Selenium Master Python Robot Framework video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to read data from an external Excel file in your robot framework test automation. Now let's look at the testing site. On this demo.mahara.org website, we can automate a test case for login. A user enters username student1 enters password testing1 and click on the login button. The logout link should be displayed. When a user clicks on the logout link, the login button should be displayed. So in this test case, we can store username and password in an external Excel file. Now let's look at the file structure. I created one Excel file and saved it as login underscore info dot xlsx. So first row, I put username and password as a header. Then second row, username is student1, password is testing1, tv is capital. Third row, username is student2, and password is testing1. So we need to write one Python file to read the cell value and pass the cell value in our robot framework. In Python, we can read Excel file using open pi excel package using this package is pretty simple first you need to install the package on your pc installing this package is very simple you can use the pip command for installing the package the script is pip install open pi xl after you click on this the system will say it's installed on this screen the system displayed the message that requirement already satisfied this means that the package has been installed. So when using pip install open pi excel command, if you add dash dash upgrade, this package will be upgraded to the latest version. After you have installed the package. Reading Excel file is very simple. So this is the quick example from open Excel import load workbook. You load a workbook, then you define workbook equals load workbook file name and read only equals true. So you read the file as read-only mode. Then you define a workbook sheet. So worksheet equals workbook and this is worksheet name. Then once you define a row and a cell, you can read the cell value. Now let's look at the Python file.
using Python IDE, I created a Python class file and I use it as a library in the robot framework test. So from open PyXL import load workbook, I define the class as Excel utility. And this class is an object. I define a global variable robot library scope is global. So here I initialize the library. Define int self. So print root cell value in Excel file. I created a method that will return a cell value as a string. Now let's look at the code. So read cell value and this uses the class itself. Excel file name, Excel spreadsheet name, column name and row number. So first define a workbook. Workbook equals load workbook file name equals excel file and read only mode is true then we read an existing workbook now define the excel spreadsheet to read so sheet range equal workbook this is the sheet name now define the cell so cell to read equals empty string plus column name plus convert the row number to string. So we can concatenate column name with the string row number to get the actual cell definition. So cell value equals sheet ranges cell to read dot value. Now print the cell value, return cell value. So by using this simple script, we can read the Excel file. Now we need to copy this file under the robot framework project folder. So under this robot framework login module test, I copied the file read excel.py so this is the file i will be using in the robot framework now let's look at the robot framework project on this robot framework project i created a folder named login module test and under this module test, I added a test suite, name it login case. Please remember that we always import library resources and other files in the test suite. In this test suite, I defined a scalar variable, browser uses Firefox and site URL variable equals demo.mahara.org and site dashboard title is dashboard Mahara and delay time is 5 seconds. Before adding a test case, I defined few keywords. These keywords are open browser to the login page, enter username, enter password, click login, and assert dashboard title. Now let's look at the library and resources we need to use in this test case. So first, we need to import Selenium to library because this library contains Selenium web driver. And I defined a site elements 
This is the resource. This site elements contains username text box definition, password text box definition, and login button definition. So username text box equals ID equals login underscore login underscore username. Password text box equals ID equals login underscore login underscore password. So we use the site elements as a resource in the test suite. Now we add the read Excel Python file as resource file. So resource read excel.py. And also we need to define a library that is using the class file in the read Excel Python script. Because on this Python script, we have Excel utility class. So we need to import this class as a library. So library read Excel dot Excel utility. These two lines are very important because we need to import the Excel file as a resource and we need to define the class in the file as a library. Now let's look at each keyword. Open browser to the login page. So open browser, site URL and browser. Now maximize browser window. So enter username. Let's look at this keyword. It's very important. I define a variable username equals root cell value. Because on this Python file, the method is read cell value. It takes five parameters, self, Excel file, sheet name, column name, row number. Because the self itself is pointing to the object. So we need to pass four parameters, Excel file, sheet name, column name, and row number. So read cell value. File name is login info dot xlsx. The worksheet name is sheet one. Column name is A. Row number is two. Then input text, username text box, and username. Now enter password. Password equals read cell value. Login info dot xlsx. Worksheet name is sheet one. And this is the column name B. And this is the row number two. Now input text, password, text box, and password. So third keyword is click login. We just click on the login button and assert dashboard title. Now we have defined all libraries, keywords, resources. Now let's look at the actual login test. So on this login test, we use open browser to the login page, keyword, then enter username, enter password, click login, and we slip five seconds delay time. Now asset dashboard title. So these are the keywords used in our test case. Now let's run the test. So click on the login case test suite. Click on run. I save it first. Now let's click on start. Browser opened, maximized, 
username is entered. Now click on logout and browser is terminated. So as you see on this console, one critical test, one passed and zero failed. One test total, one passed, zero failed. And cell value here, student one. And cell value here, testing one. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can always use external Python script as a resource and library. And you can read data from an external Excel file. The important part of this video tutorial is to make sure that first you need to verify your package is working fine or your script is working fine. And second is you need to make sure that you import your Python script as resource file and you import your class definition as a library. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always visit OpenPyExcel site for instruction articles or you can send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.